Hello everybody, Drifter here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make the Bag of Experience. So the Bag of Experience is an item that's going to award a thousand experience to every party member who is currently in the party. Give this a name, an icon, a description, call it whatever you want really. Sack of Experience, Bag of Experience, you can make it a card of experience. Uh, we're going to give this a uh, regular item type, although it could be a key item. You're going to make this yes to consumable. Occasional, uh, occasion will be always unless you don't want them to use it in battle. Scope will be all allies, but it really won't matter what scope you give it as long as it has a scope so it can be used. We're going to give it a common effect, but before we have a common effect that we can call on, let's go create that. Very, very easy common effect. There's two ways you can do this. We're going to start with a conditional statement that checks to see if uh, there's a party member in the party. So, tab 1, flow control, conditional branch. I'm going to, going to go to, to tab 2 here on the conditional branch. Select actor. <clears throat> and conveniently, all the actors are named uh, in the order they appear in the database. So we know this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so forth. So, I've got 1 through 6 already. So, let's go ahead and add Musashi, which is going to be our 7. It doesn't need any else branch. Inside of the conditional statement, there's two ways we can do this. You can click on change experience and find the actor you're checking for <clears throat> and increase the experience by that. If you want to to toggle show level up or not, you can do that. The other way you can do it is a script call. So you go to new, go to flow control under advanced script call and you're going to do dollar sign game actors dot actor. <clears throat> I believe this is seven dot gain exp and then the number of exp you want it to gain and that's basically it so either or of these methods will work fine and uh, once we've got our uh, common event created we're gonna go back to our item we're gonna right click in here go over to other at the bottom under common event select that common event we just created which I called bag of experience make sure it's adding that common event hit apply hit OK Put it in treasure chest, award it from, uh, you can put it as enemy drop loot right here. You can put it right here so that there's a chance that enemies can drop the bag of experience, which awards, you know, extra experience for everybody. <clears throat> it's really up to you how you award it. But let's take a look at it in game. Alright, so we've got some bags of experience here. Let's take a look at our status super quick. We have 342 experience. Let's use our bag of experience. And you can see that Driftwood's leveled up to 8, Tiana's leveled up to 8. We can check our status. Now we have 1,342. Let's do that one more time. And it will only award experience to members that are in the party. So, how you could decide to use this is award it to the party at the beginning of the game where they don't have too many party members. So if they want that early rush of experience, they can get it and, and maybe make their experience a little bit easier. Or they could save it until they have a lot of party members and uh, then they can get more out of that bag of experience. <clears throat> but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this quick, very short idea uh, tutorial, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have special requests, you know where they go. Comments below. Thank you guys for being awesome. We'll see you in the next tutorial.